Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do something different, or at least I will. Uh, you'll watch. I want to talk about something that's uh, near and dear and conflicted in my heart. And I kind of teased that I have uh, a bit of a rife relationship with what we call collectively religion. I come from Israel and therefore I was born Jewish um, to a secular family, which means in many ways we had the traditions like the holidays but they were not associated with with any higher power in any way um, as my mom would say uh, we grew up learning to put question marks at the end of sentences not exclamation points uh, very much a very much a critical thinker very much uh, um, a driver of of self-growth um, and it created me in, in, in some inceptional way. Uh, the, the beginning of my relationship with what religion is and what Judaism is, and, and, and of course, to me, uh, started then, started there. As I was growing up, I, I struggled like most gay men struggle uh, with my sexual identity. And as one can imagine, uh, none of those trials and tribulations were neither comfortable nor accepted and Israel back in the early uh, 90s was a very very hostile place for anybody that exhibited anything out of the ordinary specifically uh, around sexual orientation uh, Israel is what I would call even to even till till now even until today a macho culture and growing up gay and and being as fearlessly myself masculine or not that's that that's a different arbitrary conversation or even debate but the beginning the origin point was was that of um, tremendous amount of both bullying and a tremendous amount of learning of both how to speak up for myself even within defeat physical or otherwise um, and how to in many ways start having internal conversations you do ask yourself, what is the premise of nature or nurture when you are confronted with nothing but hostility, yet your inner truth uh, pushes you to, to ask those questions. I am attracted to men. It's just a physical thing. It is an emotional thing. As my coming of age story took more and more hold of my life, and therefore both my experiences and my, my interactions with others so did it expand my, my relationship with the higher powers or the higher power. Now, let me preface this whole monologue with one simple truth that I hold very dear to my heart. I often say, I will never ignore the painter for the presence of the brush. Um, I, why I say it? It's because I've tried to find a way to articulate something very complex. Um, I don't want to ever think there's no reason, uh, but I will say that if you find reason in a singular higher power, which is most likely dictated by where you were born, and unfortunately where you were born is a horrible origin story to any reason. It's the what, it's the where, but it's never the why. Our religion is 95% where we were born. Uh, my religion is, is non-existent. I'm not an atheist because I don't think I have the, the, neither the bravity nor the hubris to accept that a finite mind can grapple with infinite powers or realities. And our reality is pretty poignantly infinite. Uh, our existence within it is extraordinarily and excruciatingly finite. But when I grew up and when I was beaten down, uh, again, physically, mentally, spiritually, all that wonderful jazz, my coming out story was bloodied and uncomfortable. Um, but it's not to be uh, placating to some sense of, of boo-hoo, woe is me. Um, I often say in these videos, I respect the fact that I was born into privilege. I have had many 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 indicators in the previous years even through my toughest time which i am sure i will go through uh in some way or another on this channel 
Um, but one of those tough times and one of those conversations is the sheer insanity of godness and, and religion. And that's my firing shot. That's my video with a topic. That's the first one. Uh, I'm sure of many. That's something I want to dissect and deconstruct. I think religion is net harm uh, against net good. Uh, it's net bad. Um, individually or otherwise, it teaches us to other. It teaches us to, to wrong. It teaches us to hurt. It teaches us to judge and demean and belittle the other, the different, um, the not same, the against, not the for. Uh, to beginning to the beginning of this conversation, if I am to put a question mark on any exclamation point in my life, I would have to start with religion. Why? Coming out forces you into many things, but in my specific circumstances, we were, um, because as a family, we were facing a pretty significant crossroad, uh, both religiously as a family as I came out, I'm the oldest of four, by the way, but specifically, mom's journey walked away from the circular, secular side of things. Uh, she embraced, and then my father embraced at a time, uh, religion, or what I would call today more of a cultish element called the Kabbalah. And as their journey progressed into finding meaning, and of course, uh, both internal and external peace through the process of embracing this theology, this methodology. I, of course, being the impressionable young boy that I was, took in to the concepts and uh, uh, somewhat easy to digest and comforting um, comfort food to the soul that comes with accepting that there is meaning behind things, that there is a reason behind everything, that you are always prone to find the silver lining and grow from it. And, and everything is hunky-dory in your internal psyche when it comes to your relationship with spirituality. It didn't ask tough questions. In Any Kabbalistic out there would actually argue vehemently that it's all tough questions. Um, my only counter-argument is, what about the other 3,000 gods? That's, that's, that's kind of where I end with that. As I am coming out of the closet, as I am accepting myself as a gay man, as I'm being beaten up in class, as my parents and therefore my family are walking into this religious cult, a lot of questions became more internal rather than external, and a lot of answer came a lot less subtly. Um, so my first video is about this, my relationship with, with divine I can honestly say the most amazing people in my life, some of which you will meet, are our spiritual people. They, they care deeply. I care deeply about my fellow and my brethren, human beings, our people on our global village. Be what you are. I care about you. I care about my community and my tribe around me. But none of those signifiers makes the relationship with the divine an uh, autocratic one or a dogmatic one. It makes it a conversation. It makes it a dialogue. I will not lie or sugarcoat that in tough, dark times, even I converse with the unknown. Why? To seek solace. Is anything out there? I don't think so. If they had any human consciousness, I will have, and I mean have, to put a very harsh judgment and say the words sociopathic and psychopathic, first and full frontal right there, um, too ruthless to be good. We live in a difficult world. We're better than we've ever been before, and if you really want an indication on how well we are, on how well we're doing as a species, all you need to do is divorce yourself from your own perspective, your own singular finite being divorce, take it out, uproot it, and look at what we do over generations. Yes, there are blips on the map, but the reality is the trend is always upwards. We grow, we evolve, we become better. We are kinder, 
we are less violent, we are more accepting. That's a consistent truth. You just need to ignore yourself when you say that. I need to ignore myself when I say that because looking around me, 2020, COVID, uh, tremendous amount of difficulties, both political, societal, uh, and otherwise, um, that they have, have gotten to the point of having too much again. Um, you know, history doesn't repeat itself, but it most certainly rhymes, and we are in a rhyming moment. Um, I hope it will not come with the upheaval that, that, that usually often dictates as human history dictates, uh, but that is a tangential thought. Back to religion. There are 3,000 concepts of what divinity is out there. Some choose them. The majority, the lion's share of the majority, don't. Uh, religion is an excuse. It's a, it's a mantle to wear when you're trying to find comfort in something that is not just not comforting, but also very damaging. When my religion came head to head um, with my questioning of my own sexual identity, and the answer from the religious side was, you are a mistake, that's when my personal relationship with religion ended. And of course, there is a myriad and I mean a myriad, a plethora of choices when it comes to divinities that are more forgiving or more peaceful or more kind. I will always defer to the world is my village or the world is my country. Humankind are my brethren and to do good is my religion. End of story. I have butchered Thomas Paine's quote, but that's literally where it ends. And if you couple it with my own quote, which is, I will not ignore the painter for the presence of the brush. There were many, many, many moments in my life serendipitously uh, uh, um, pronounced and profound or when kismet just, just clicked its toe or the zeitgeist of the culture and run as a person myself met in some, some extraordinarily unhuman way or, or at least ununderstandable uh, to myself. And I will end on the note that in many ways this channel is this moment of kismet or serendipity for myself and my religious my religious belief is that a that i don't have one but b that i respect the fact when the lines cross when you see that brush stroke do i know what the painter is no do i need to convince you that there is one or not no am i asking you to be a kind person am i asking you to think of your other brethren your people our village the global one yes i do on that note Thank you for listening to this video. You know, like and subscribe and all that. I'll figure all that out as we go along. But I, left to, I hope I left you with something to think about. I have a relationship with what it is divine or what it is spiritual. It comforts me. I understand its simplicity. I understand it's not the answer. It's my answer. I hope you got something out of it. Take care.